Hello, welcome back to Metal Gear. It's been a minute. Which one are we on? Yeah, sorry, it's been a while. Uh, I probably can't remember any of the buttons, but we'll see. <laughs> um, oh, I remember what's going on. We're just seeing the old man, aren't we? Are we going for him? Or Go back and take this guy out. Let me go this way. Uh, yeah, I've been... I've got to move house, so I've been looking for somewhere to live. Uh, and then I've been playing a game called Once Human. I don't know if you've heard of it. But it's... A massive, massive dopamine hit. Quite easy to uh, get lost in it. <laughs> so yeah, I've been doing a bit of that. Can I get through it? Don't think I can, can I? Damn. Take out these guys. I wish there was a way you could uh, walk through the water faster. <laughs> anyway, how are you all doing? Hope you're good. There might be a little bit of disruption in me uploading videos. Um, but I think I can get better internet at the new place if we get it, which would be nice. So what I might do in the meantime is record some videos and then oh, I kind of remember how to do stuff. Is this the tranquilizer? Yeah, a little bit of that. There we go. We got some goodies. Ah, that's where the that's where it went, isn't it? So annoying because I felt like I was finally getting my head around all the mad controls and. Smoke G. Oh, I forgot about the swimming. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how long this video will be. I've got loads of stuff to sort out. But yeah, Once Human, if you've not played that, have a little go of that. It's free to play. It's absolutely bonkers. I've got a pet cat. Built a house, got a pet cat that's like massive. Cat's probably about four foot tall. <laughs> it's quieting it down, eh? A solid wall. I 
I have been looking forward to playing this again though. I thought I could hear footsteps then. Grab people. A little shotgun there. Still sleeping on the job. I see him. Uh -oh. oh god. I meant to find out how you figure out if it's rotten. I'm having surgery. I'm not having surgery, do I? Good as new. There's someone there. Oh, what? Oh my god. I think they got like sci fi. <clears throat> no 
more, Mr. Nice Snake. What's this guy made of? Oh, nice. That was completely waxed. <laughs> I don't need to keep doing this. Get any box. HQ, please respond. This is HQ. Patrol here. We've lost sight of the intruder. Going into high alert. Acknowledge the enemy is still nearby. Pursue the danger. Well, whilst this is going on, um, I've been playing a bit more of Into the Radius. Don't know if you've seen any of that footage, but um, that game is a lot of fun. Yeah, if you, if you see some of the live stream, I'm probably screaming. really hope they bring the second one out because I would love to play that with some of the guys I game with. I think they'd love it. I need to play some more Half-Life Alex as well. I'm trying to think if there's anything coming out that I'm excited about. I really want to play the new Stalker game. But what I might do, I don't know if I mentioned this last time, I might might play through the first Stalker. I was reading an article not that long ago that with all the mods on it, it's actually pretty great. I can just pop out and have it. I don't know if it's worth it. Worth it. I mean, he's looking right at us. They're all over us here. This is probably not how you're supposed to play the game. Sat hiding in a box. I need to get to listen to this quality soundtrack. Here we go. HQ, please respond. This is HQ. Patrol here. The situation is normal. Understood. Resume your patrol. Honestly, I, I don't know if you can change the uh, sensitivity, but it's pretty horrific. What's wrong? Oh my god. Shit, that didn't move. Yeah! I'll have to look into that.
can't remember how you interrogated him, so... We won't be doing that. Probably got to change my camo, don't I? No, we're not doing that. and slow. Two more shots, I reckon. Suppressor. Oh no. This is HQ. Let's go. We're being attacked. Enemy position unknown. Going into high alert. Acknowledged. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution. Wrong. What's wrong? Doing too well, are I? I'm gonna have to remember all the buttons. Oh, just don't come over here. Oh, he's gonna come over here. Isn't he? Backup. 
not this again. You know what? Oh no, turn around, turn around. Not that way. <laughs> Fire! Climb that! Why can't he climb? Ah. Say that, murder bro. Surely, in a room full of boxes. HQ, please respond. This is HQ. Patrol here. We've lost sight of the intruder. Going into high alert. Acknowledged. The enemy is still nearby. Pursue and engage him. I don't know where I am. I might just speed these bits up because otherwise it's going to be pretty boring. I'm not doing my best sneaking today, am I? It's not a very good stealth mission. So I was like, no, nah, vision goggles. Thermal goggles. Play. Uh, I'll just check. 
Well, I was one to see the dark. Born in the dark. A new box. Yeah, so thinking once I move, I should be able to upload a lot quicker as well. So that should hopefully mean I can get a bit more content out. So yeah, if there's any games that you'd like me to play, give me a shout. I might try and have like two or three games on the go. Seems a bit suspect. Yeah, how do we use me? The book. I really wish you could climb up these things. Oh no. Hello. Snake, have you been caught in a snare trap? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> if you don't get down from there soon, the enemy might spot you. I know that. Then why don't you get yourself down? How am <laughs> I supposed to do that? Sure. It should be obvious. If you get caught in a snare trap, press the action button. That will allow you to cut the rope. Mm. Hurry and free yourself before the enemy comes around. I mean, that's pretty skillfully done. Yeah. More rhyming for looks of it. Just get rid of that. It's going to be off in it. Gee. Whoa. I thought that was going to be one of them swing things. Bird, you know. Bird. Look at that guy. Death Trap Central around there, isn't it? Oh, hello.
Oh, that was pretty dangerous time. There's loads of it there. Gates electrified. Oh, wait, is that? That's that way in, isn't it? Oh, yeah, baby. There we go. Now that is a sneaky mission. Do you reckon we can get him, drag him into the, into the grass?
I am the worst snake. <laughs> Tell you what, lads, we are not having a good time today, are we? Disinfecting. Sight of the intruder going into high alert. Acknowledged. The enemy is still nearby. Pursue and engage him. Nah. I'm just a stealthy little snake hiding in the grass. What else? What's wrong? Oh, he just kicked him in the head. Spot me. I don't know. Motion. Shit. 
Oh, that was stressful. Damn it, was. Oh. Go in there, Jokin. This is HQ. Control here. No problems detected. Understood. Return to your position. Better that on. Oh, that's what we want, isn't it? Better that. Let's put a suppressor on that. No. Oh, you can with that, though. I reckon it's a first fire. Camo on it as well. Oh, I've got no suppressors. Oh no. You idiot. Not one for that, but that means people are going to die. Full stealth mode. Ooh. <clears throat> ah, disgusting. Not a big fan of them, is he? <clears throat> ah, what can I say? Don't say anything, lad. So he's the last guy, should we just should we just deal with it? Nice. He's got to have been guarding somewhere over there, hasn't he? What's 
wrong. Oh, Claymore. He's waking them up. Oh, what? Maybe we'll just go this way. Oof. I don't know what I'm going to do with that suppressor. through that. Suppressor. Oh my god. Ah, there we go. Whew. That time's almost up. I feel like I've not been very good at this game today. I didn't mean to do that. Press the wrong button. Come over it. Oh. Have a nice little kip over it. Need a suppressor. Chipping it downstairs, right? Camouflage. That's what I want.
Asche. Oh no. Saw me? Oh, yeah. Knock, knock. Oh, that's the frog. Thanks, bitch. Don't do that, man. Oh. Knock out handkerchief. Oh shit. <laughs> At least we're going out for high octane. Whoa. Leave the nerd alone. Right, how do we use that? Let's try it out on these lads. Hey, pop, 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 pop. That's gonna be a nerd. <laughs> Not very nice. Food? Food, man. I mean, this is the sneakiest mission that happened. What's wrong? Oh. Say what's wrong. Uh oh. What's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> Why is everyone dead or unconscious? Right. I'm gonna save it there, I think. Because I've got a feeling whatever's fat. Yeah, I knew it. It's gonna be a 20 minute cutscene, aren't it? There's no way he doesn't know I'm here. 
If you're looking for Sokolov, he's not here anymore. <laughs> Put that thing away, you'll spoil my drink. I like his little action figure. So, you're the intruder everyone's talking about. Typical capitalist dog. No manners. Oh. Ah. And who are you? You mean you've never heard of me? And you call yourself an agent? Very well, then. I am Alexander Leonovich Granin. Ooh. A man of some importance, if I do say so myself. I am the foremost weapon scientist in the Soviet Union. And the head of the glorious Granin Design Bureau. This is the Order of Lenin. It is an honor of the greatest magnitude, given along with the title of Hero of Socialism to only the finest workers. It was awarded to me in recognition of my brilliant contributions to society. Nice. Since the Great Patriotic War, it looks so bad. I have created countless weapons in the service of our great communist society. It was thanks to me that we were able to stamp out the Nazi scum. Good lad. It was I who created the basic design for the mobile ballistic missile system you know and fear as SS-1C. Ah. You're crocked, aren't you? Crocked. I'm merely drowning my sorrow. Because of him, I've got nothing to do but sit here and drink this crap. Him? Sokolov. It's him you're looking for, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Because of him, I have been stripped of my authority. My research has come to nothing. Right. Look! It is a revolutionary mobile nuclear missile system. A bipedal tank. A bipedal tank? Great. Yes, a walking tank. A robot. Are you familiar with the theory of the missing link between apes and humans? Well, this technology will be the missing link between infantry and artillery. A kind of metal gear, if you will. Oh, there it is. And this magnificent metal gear will mark a revolutionary step forward in weapons development. Metal gear? Metal <laughs> But I won't be used so easily, no. No crying myself to sleep. For you see, I'm going to send these documents to my friend in the United States. Well, that's... What? These bastards will live to regret this. And when they themselves become the targets of my creation, they will know my true greatness. Yes. Sokolov's pathetic shago hard pales in comparison <laughs> to my work. What are you going to do with a rocket engine on a tank? About Sokolov. A tank does not need a rocket. He's not finished. It needs something else. Look at these. Nice shoes. Uh. No. Legs. Legs that allow it to go anywhere. Just as when humans learn to walk upright. That is the real revolution in weaponry. Don't you agree? But, the fool says in charge, Joe Sokolov. And where is Sokolov? My project has been terminated. The philosopher's legacy has been handed over to him. What the hell are you talking about? A bit dense, isn't it? The philosopher's legacy. Haven't you heard of the philosophers? The Colonel has inherited their immense legacy. Wolgin's father was in charge of the Philosopher's money laundering activities. In the confusion of the war, he 
somehow ended up with their treasure. And Volgin inherited that treasure illegally. Mm. We never need to worry about the military budget. The development costs at our facility are all paid out of the Colonel's deep pockets. Nice. The weapons born here will be the genes for creating an entirely new form of warfare. The funding for my research came out of that legacy. Came out of it. Now, my money, my men, all have been diverted to the Shagohad project. Tomorrow, they will be conducting the final test, while Sokolov is making the final preparations in the weapons factory at Volgin's main base, the Great Fortress of Grozny Grad. Here I am, playing host to an enemy spy and drinking myself into a stupor. That's where they moved Sokolov? Yes. And the Shagohad is there too? Of course. You can tell it's his first mission. Hey! Right? You're not thinking of going to Grozny Grad. Are you mad? It's an impenetrable fortress. I'm sure it is. You'll be killed. I'll take my chances. Wait. What? Listen to me, you fool. I want to help you. Help me? To thank you for your compliment. What compliment? <laughs> About his shoes. My shoes. <laughs> Tatiana gave them to me. I wanted to thank you for complimenting me on them. Uh oh. I'll tell you how to get into the fortress. Nice. In return, I ask only that you get that idiot out of there and destroy the Shagohad. That is my There is mission. an underground tunnel that runs around the perimeter of the fortress. You should be able to use it to sneak into the base. Sweet. Head for the mountains. The entrance to the tunnel is located there. Take this. You know what? Get you wrong passed way. through a warehouse on your way here, didn't you? Yeah. There Let's should have passed. been a locked door inside of it. Do you remember it? Yeah. Uh, well, this key it. will open that door. Beyond that door lies the vast jungle. You can climb up into the mountains from the far end of the jungle. Go back to the warehouse. Use the key to open the locked door and head for the mountains. Got it? Got it. Why are you helping me? Unlike Sokolov, the thought of defecting has never once crossed my mind. I love my country. I love this land. I cannot even imagine living anywhere else. I wish to remain a hero of the great motherland. I cannot bear the thought being hounded into a corner and left to waste away. It is already dawn. You must hurry. I will remain here and nurse my troubles for a little longer. Do you want me to take them plants? To capitalism! Wait, oh. Right, it's time for some film knowledge. I wonder if we can guess the film. Saving I'm going to go for way. Jungle Book. It's been a bit of a bad one today, isn't it? Have you heard of It Came From Outer Space? Oh, I would never yeah, have got that. Told me already. So this astronomer sees a meteor, but it's really an alien spaceship, right? And the aliens start replacing the townspeople with clones and forcing them to help repair the ship. 
but the 3D effects were quite realistic. I've got all the real I can handle here in the jungle. No, you don't get it. Precisely because it's realistic, with the images jumping out of the screen at you, it makes for a nice escape from reality. I have to admit it made my eyes tired, but it was really intense. Unfortunately, they don't make very many of those movies anymore. When did it come out? I was still in college, so probably about ten years ago? Guess I'm out of luck then. You know, they're coming out with household versions of video cassette recorders. One day you'll be able to see old movies anytime you want. Whoa. It'll be like having a movie theater in your own home. Really? Get it's out It's like here. if you had a record with movie film etched onto it instead of music. It'll work the same way. You're kidding. <laughs> no, really. And someday they might make movies where you control the characters yourself. Sounds like nah. magic. It'll happen. Make sure you stay alive to see it, Snake. Well, I mean, if there's ever a reason to stay alive. Right, guys. Sorry for the shambolic playing, but... Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll be better in the next one. Uh, in here. Nah, nah. <laughs> right, take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.